Hey everyone, it's uh, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to Walsh Farms and it's time for another Saturday garden update. So, uh, welcome to the channel. I uh, hope you uh, will like this video. Give us a thumbs up. If you're a new viewer, consider subscribing to us. If you're a returning viewer and a subscriber, I'll thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support. So, uh, let's get turned around. So, as far as the beets, uh, you can see our existing beets here that were planted towards the end of November. Yeah, but these are the beets that we planted <coughs> last Sunday afternoon. You know, remember I, I had a video and some were dry seeds and some were soaked seeds. So it's been uh, five and a half days and none of them have come up yet. And then we had lettuce over here and none of that has come up. But we have had some cool temperatures and a lot of rain. And so I don't know if that's going to cause any problems with the beets and the lettuce there or not but it did with the garlic if you remember we had seven one gallon pots with garlic in it and we just checked it and it was all rotten it had just gotten way too wet uh down in the containers uh we didn't we didn't dig down far enough and wasn't watching our water and it just absolutely ruined the garlic clove. So we've just emptied all that out and we'll have to start back over. Okay, this bed has the mustard that Jackie's been picking and eating, uh, her and her mama. I don't eat mustard, it tastes like dirt to me. I don't know what dirt tastes like, but if I had to, if I had to eat dirt, that's what mustard would taste like. Uh, so got mustard here, she's got one cabbage there, and then she has planted some more mustard over here so we just covered it up with some wheat straw just to uh try to help soak up some of the water and then we'll see if that'll pull some of the water out because we are flooding here now this uh bed here has collards in the back and jackie's been eating some of those again i don't i don't eat collard i don't eat it, hardly any kind of greens like that i eat green beans but as far as leafy greens that just ain't for me. So she's been eating collards. We have been eating broccoli. Uh, so you can see she has cut that one there. And cut that one there. But we are fixing to do some more cutting of that one. That one, we've almost let this one get too, too far grown. Because you can see it's starting to turn yellow. So we've got a couple more here. So let's cut some broccoli. So this is a carrots, and we're going to pick one of those and see how they look. Boy, y'all, I just heard that blooper. Anyways, this is our yellow pear tomato, and it stays in the garage. You can see it's still producing. It's got one ready, one almost ready. Uh, still got a few green ones there, a green one down here in the bottom, and one, two more there. So yellow pear tomato still producing. And that's what we eat on our salads. So this one here is spinach that was planted December 12th. And it is staying inside the garage from, from the last frost uh, a week or so ago. So the only natural sunlight they're getting is when the garage door is open. Uh, this here is starfighter lettuce again December 13th, I think. And then Tahoma lettuce December 13th. And then of course the strawberries that are here on the uh, small green stalk vertical container. And then we have all sorts of stuff in this taller green stalk vertical container. And these get these two containers they get rolled inside and out depending on the rain. So we're fixing to start uh, another seed tray uh, right here. And then this seed tray is going to go, let's see what do we got here? Gold Rush banana peppers, jalapeno peppers, cow wonder bell peppers, cheers cabbage, Waltham 29 broccoli. And all those seeds are obviously from Haas Tools. You can see the package. And then we're also gonna do some yellow bell pepper and red bell pepper. And we saved the seeds from these bell peppers that John grew in his garden last year. So we're all gonna combine gardens this year, but these are obviously store-bought seeds, and these will be seeds that we've taken out of peppers that we grew last year. 
Okay, so we've got the, the seed tray done, and we've covered it uh, with uh, perlite. Uh, but again, here we have the, the broccoli, the cabbage, uh, banana pepper, jalapeno pepper, uh, green bell pepper, then yellow bell pepper and red bell pepper and these two. So four of everything except for the homegrown yellow and red. We've just done two each. We've got it sitting on a heating blanket or a heat pad. This is the first time we've ever put a seed tray on a heat pad. And just got it in the dining room under some daylight light bulbs because uh, I don't have a grow light yet. So hint, hint, if anybody out there has got a grow light they want to send to me, I'll certainly uh, sure take one. So... That's it for the seed tray. So that's our carrot harvest. Again, you see there are Hoss Tools, Scarlet, Nantes carrots. And it's one pound, ten and three quarter ounces. Now, I would have liked them to be a little bit bigger, but these are actually a month past due the harvest date. And a couple of them was starting to rot, so we had to go ahead and pick them all. So, one thing... Uh, that I've noticed is that the dirt in our raised bed has got compacted and sunk down so it's not as deep as what it should be so before we replant anything we're gonna have to build up the bed but I'm pleased for this is our first ever carrot harvest and I'll show you what we do with these carrots in just a moment now normally in the past uh, when we had buy store-bought carrots uh, we would peel them and then I would just quarter them up like that and then put them in a Ziploc bag and just When I wanted something to snack on I just pull the Ziploc bag out of the refrigerator and go sit in the chair and watch TV and, and eat carrots And I have done that my whole life. I have loved I love carrots But in order to be healthier healthier this year in 2021 because carrots have a lot of vitamins I mean a lot of vitamins uh, and sometimes the skin uh, of any of our fruits and vegetables is where a lot of those vitamins are contained. So when we peel them, we're throwing away a lot of uh, healthy uh, food source. Uh, I have been one in the past. I peeled cucumbers and, and I'm getting to where I will eat the green off of cucumber skin. I used to wouldn't eat uh, skin from baked potatoes and all that but you know I'm starting to eat a little bit more of that so on the left I've got how I normally used to do carrots but this year and especially because these that we harvested are a little on the smaller size I'm just going to cut the ends off of them and uh, have washed them real good and I'm going to eat the peelings so that's just one thing with carrots if you peel them think about not peeling them So what do you do when you grow your own lettuce, your own carrots, and your own yellow pear tomatoes? You have a salad. So that's what I'm fixing to have uh, for my first course of my supper tonight. And to go along with the salad, we're having, uh, <coughs> excuse me, having shell pasta with our own very own homemade pasta sauce. So that's made from tomatoes and all that, that we put up. Uh, our own from our own garden so that ends this video i hope you'll give us a thumbs up uh, if you're not a subscriber and watching this i hope you'll hit that subscribe button there and ring the bell so you get notified of future videos if you're a returning uh, viewer i uh, thank you wholeheartedly from uh from my heart and i just pray that uh, god continues to bless you the way he blessed us he is blessing us and until the next video we'll see you and y'all take care